solar decathlon. The competition hosted by the U.S. Department of Energy challenges 20 teams from universities around the country to design, build, and operate solar-powered homes. We instituted affordability to bring these, to make the houses more affordable for the average American. The Empower House had to remain within Habitat for Humanity's budget. Estimated total cost of construction and design, less than $230,000 which won it first prize in the affordability contest at the decathlon. Engineering student Daniel Topaldo says becoming solar efficient has to tackle both the supply of energy coming into a house and how much it uses. The house has been being stress tested basically. We have to do a wash load every day, a dryer load every day, dishwasher load. We have to um, simulate taking a shower, uh, two or three showers. Uh, we have to keep the lights on for X amount of hours a day. So it, we simulate a, a family living in there. Okay. The reality of it was that we're making this home for a family. So the shower is like right behind this wall. So the shower run, when you want hot water, you get it in like two and a half seconds. Lakia Cully says her neighbors in southeast Washington, D.C. didn't know much about solar energy. But after hearing about her future electricity bills, they're eager to learn more. They're excited and they're like, oh, a solar house, what's that? So they're asking me questions about it and then they're like, so you're not going to have an electric bill? How does that work? Can I get one of those? <laughs> the overall winner of the solar decathlon will be announced tomorrow and then the Empower House will be transferred to the Habitat for Humanity site in D.C.